it's not really my personality um, to to see something that's that's not right and to just let it go on regardless of whether it's from the coaches, players, you know, management, support staff, whoever. So obviously it was it was it was a lack of energy and urgency out there, um, and it was it was apparent, especially coming from. You know, I've, I've played on teams that have that winning culture. And just basically, I just took a moment to let them know, like, I had reservations about speaking up too early and, and being too vocal too too early. But I felt like, you know, uh, you know, in my mind, I said F that because I need to, you know, we don't have time. And I got to do whatever I got to do to help this team move forward. And um, lacking energy, I mean, that's a prerequisite to be able to go out there and, and, and have a good year or have a good play or, you know, whatever it is. So. In my mind, it, it was something that I wouldn't have been able to sleep if I didn't speak up on it. And um, you know, I got a lot of good feedback, which it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't a big rah rah thing. It was just more, you know, to make bring awareness to it because a lot of these guys in here haven't been anywhere else where they've won and you know have had that urgency that it takes in order to be a good team. So um, you know, this team being so talented on the, you know roster wise, it's just a waste to to have everybody out there and you know to have a, a dead sideline like that. Brees catch a ball and go sixty and. We don't. We, we can't feed off none of the energy, and those type of plays are supposed to be contagious for the rest of the team. So um, that's basically what I saw and what I told him. It's, it's a, a thing. You know, I'm not here to be the savior. Everybody was looking. You know, the whole world. Trump was at the game. I don't know if that's because of me or, or not, but I mean, everybody's sitting here expecting it to be. You know, me go out there and put up 200 yards and, and three tugs. But you know, that's a storybook ending to it. And it, obviously, that would have been amazing if that happened, but. I'm here to help shift this culture more than anything. You know, I can go out there and make the plays that I can make and try to, you know, influence guys, you know, as much as I can. But I'm trying to, you know, enforce a winning mindset on these guys. And if you don't have, you know, the energy, which is the the least you got to have. I mean, we you only get 17 games. We can talk like that's a lot of games or not. But, you know, I also said to them, this ain't baseball. We got, we got a few opportunities to come out here, show what we work on, all the crazy blood, sweat, and tears we put into this. And, you know, to have only 17 ops and to come out flat like that and essentially give away a game, that's unacceptable. So, you know, just, just trying to bring 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 a different type of swag and culture in here. When did you first know? Was it before the game you noticed that, or was it? No, it was it's throughout the game, it's, and it really didn't dawn on me all the way until you know later in the game when it was you know quote unquote over, and I was just thinking about it. I'm seeing some of the plays and seeing when guys are making plays, and you know I've been part of you know the Raiders. We didn't win. A whole hell of a lot, but you know, at the end of the game, guys are making plays. We still dapping one another up, and you know, playing for for our pride, if nothing else. And I just felt like it wasn't necessarily that guys weren't playing hard, but we weren't out there celebrating together. We weren't playing. You know, it, it, it didn't feel like a whole lot of fun was being had. And you know, I have fun every time I step out on the field. You know, it's a it's a mindset you got to have. You got to make up your mind before you get out of bed. You know, playing this game and. Um, I just didn't feel like it was all the way there. And when I you see some of the plays, like we were moving the ball and it wasn't necessarily we came out flat, but the energy, like I don't care if it gotta be fake. You gotta, you know, bring some juice. If I make a play, come and slap me on the helmet and, and show me that you, you know, you appreciate the fact that I, I went and did what I did. And when, and when you make a play, it could be 12 yards. You know, G caught a little one stepper on the outside and got back in early in the game, got back out. I'm running over there to dap him up. And it's not something fake, but it's just more to spread that type of energy and, and get everybody's mind into the game because that, you know, all those things help. How do you think it was received? What kind of feedback from your teammates? I got amazing feedback. The staff, I mean, owner, everybody had something to say about it. And I don't think there's one person in there that they couldn't, you know, it didn't resonate with. And, like I say, it's not like guys are in here just lazy or nothing like that. Like I said, we made some plays. It was just it wasn't to the standard that I see fit in order to, you know, create a winning culture. And when that's ultimately trying, what it comes down to. When you're trying to make a change of culture like this and you're trying to change the mentality of everybody, can it happen like that? With, with the Why not? Why not? It's not something that you need to – obviously everything is trained in this game. So the more you do, the, the more natural it will become, you know, but – all I got to do is make you aware. Maybe it's as simple as before we hit the, the field, hey, finish this play right here. Like it may, it may not be ingrained in your DNA, but if you come out and come run one play, I guarantee you I can get you to finish after, after hearing it one time as long as you remind it. It doesn't have to be, you know, we want to ultimately get it to where it's second nature and nobody has to tell you anything, but that's the part of training. So, you know, the, the first step is me bringing awareness to it. And, um, you know, guys were mature about it, and I could see it in everybody's eyes that it was something that they had never heard or been exposed to. And, you know, that's that's part of the problem, but also why I can't get down and, and upset at them more just, you know, 
here's here's what it is. Now you're aware. So if we go out next game and we have the same type of issues, then it's a bigger issue. And you know, me as um, you know, regardless if I just got here, I'm I'm a leader of this football team. And you know, whether or not every single person in there sees it that way, that's how I see it, and that's that's my responsibility. And uh, that's something that I take serious. Two totally different situations. We're not talking about. We, I'm talking about juice. And the Raiders, we had juice. We had many other issues, but it wasn't about energy on the field and, you know, celebrating with one another. We had already established that and, you know, helping somebody, somebody, you know, gets tackled, running over, getting them off the ground, patting them on the, on the ass or on the head. That's what I'm talking about. And, and we had that aspect. It was, you know, every team has their struggles, but this team, it's not about moving the ball. I mean, we don't really, I wouldn't say that that's an issue. It's about finishing and, um, you know, creating that juice that, that's lasting and that energy that allows you to carry that throughout the game and, and you know, spring your brother for, for a couple of plays as well.